first of all, just as a lesson to anybody out there who's thinking about writing a story, I wrote this on spec at night when I had a job. I brought someone in and I worked on it and I researched it for like two or three years and it was like Dick Van Dyke's novel. You know, I'm working on this pilot. And, um, and finally, I, one, I was just like, you know what? I don't like what I'm doing. I'm just going to write this thing. And I wrote it and I, um, uh, two years later <laughs> after I wrote it, no one seemed to really be interested in it because I was a comedy writer and I think it confused people what, what I was doing with my life. They didn't think this was as funny as I do. And, um, uh, it's a period, and it's got smoking, and there's all kinds. It was obviously written for HBO. It was the only place in the, the Sopran I wrote this. The Sopranos was on episode six when I wrote this this thing, and I saw the Sopranos, and I was like, "Oh my God, uh, you know, that's that's amazing that the fact that this is a commercial success when it's so profound and so so much about my life, you know, you know, I was amazed. It inspired me, and um, I got it got me my job on the Sopranos about two years later, and that. Literally within a, a month, days of being there, David Chase sent it to HBO with a note on the top of it that said, this should be your show after The Sopranos is over. And that was the last I heard from HBO. Well, they're kicking themselves now <laughs> from what I hear. Oh, so. I don't want to hear that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> Um, although some of those scenes would probably play a little longer on HBO, I suspect. I don't a, think that the show can tolerate anything <laughs> slower than it is. 